guys and welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be making some creamy shrimp alfredo so right here I just have my pan that has some oil and we're gonna be adding our shrimp we're also gonna be adding our garlic salt so yeah and if you guys haven't already go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you never miss one of my videos so now I'm gonna be adding my garlic powder with parsley seasoning and we're just gonna sprinkle that all over the shrimp. And this shrimp was already cooked, all I had to do was thaw it out and then warm it up in the pan, add the seasonings and that's it. And so now we're gonna set the shrimp to the side and then in our pan, we're gonna be adding some oil and we're gonna be adding our freshly chopped garlic. So all I'm doing here is adding my heavy cream and we're going to be adding about two cups of our heavy cream and like always all the ingredients and measurements will be in the description box down below. I also have some cream cheese that's going into the pan. And one thing that I wanted to point out when making an alfredo sauce is that you don't want to let your sauce boil because if it boils it will start to become chunky and it's not as smooth as a consistency. So yeah. So right here I'm just going to be adding my parmesan cheese and once again we're going to give that a good mix. And here I am just adding my shrimp into my sauce. And here I am just cooking up some spinach that I once again seasoned with some garlic salt. And we're going to give that a good mix and then we're going to incorporate that into our alfredo sauce. To prepare the pasta, I'm just adding some salt into some boiling water and then we're just going to put the pasta right inside. Alrighty you guys, so to finish off the sauce, all I did was add some cayenne pepper, some oregano, and some black pepper. And I didn't need to add any salt because the spinach, the shrimp, and the cheese already had enough salt. So yeah, so I just added the cooked pasta and I'm just giving it one more good mix. And there's our finished pasta dish. I hope you guys like this recipe. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video.